What are biosensors? Biosensors are bioanalytical systems that can sense biological samples. They are small, powerful devices capable of analyzing biological samples to understand their function, composition and structure. This is achieved by converting a biological signal or response to a measurable response. Biosensor, if you split the word into bio, and, sensor, will give a better sense of what they are. General working of a biosensor. If we put a biological sample or analyte on the biosensor, the biosensor gives us a digital reading that has a biological interpretation. An analyte is the substance of interest that must be detected. How is the biological component converted to digital information or a measurable response? This is accomplished by the various components present within the biosensor, such as the biological recognition element, a signal transducer, a signal amplifier, a signal processor, and a display unit. Let's see, what does each of these components does? When the biological sample, which means analyte is applied, the recognition element will detect the biomarkers present in the analyte. A biomarker could be any compound or signal that can be used as a determinant of a disease state or alterations in the physiology of the organism. The transducer will convert this biological change to an electrical signal. This analog signal will be amplified by the signal amplifier. The signal processor will convert the amplified analog signal to a digital signal, which will be displayed on the LCD screen. Characteristics of biosensors in biomedical diagnosis, the use of biosensors poses several advantages over routine laboratory techniques. As they are small, easy to use, cheap, and provide immediate results. The performance of any biosensor is based on several key characteristics. A biosensor should be selective in its ability to detect the presence of a specific analyte. The results generated by the biosensor should be reproducible, which means the biosensor should be able to generate identical readings for several identical samples. The measurements should be accurate, with minimal variation between the values detected by the biosensor and the values obtained by conventional methods. The performance of the biosensor should be stable and should not be affected by external changes in temperature. It should be highly sensitive to detect even small amounts of the analyte and the measurements should be linear for a wide concentration range of the analyte. Types of analytes for biosensors. Many people may believe that blood is the only body fluid used for biosensing, but that's not true. Apart from blood, saliva, sweat, urine, tears, and breath can also be used for the detection of several biomarkers. Let's check out some examples. Blood-based biosensors are used for monitoring blood components like glucose. Saliva-based biosensors are slowly gaining popularity for glucose detection, as compared to invasive blood-based biosensors. These can also be used to detect levels of certain chemicals, such as lactate and cortisol. Sweat-based biosensors can detect levels of compounds like glucose, lactate, ascorbic acid, and uric acid, whereas pregnancy kits are a great example of urine-based biosensors. Tears can be used to estimate the amounts of glucose, alcohol, and certain vitamins, whereas breath-based biosensors are routinely used by police departments to detect traces of alcohol. Types of biosensors Biosensors like the finger prick glucometers used to check blood sugar levels require the user to prick their finger and use the blood sample as the biological analyte. This is an example of an invasive biosensor. In contrast, the use of the pulse oximeter requires the user to simply insert their fingertip inside the instrument. This is an example of a non-invasive biosensor. So, based on how the required biological analyte is applied, the biosensors may be categorized as invasive or non-invasive. The biosensors can also be classified based on the type of biological recognition element and the transduction mechanism employed. The recognition element of a biosensor may be DNA, an antibody, enzyme, phage, tissues, cell receptors, microbial whole cells, etc. Depending on the type of transducers used for the design of biosensors, they may be categorized into optical biosensors, electrochemical biosensors, or mass-based biosensors. Optical fibers play a key role in the functioning of optical biosensors by sensing the biological analyte based on its property of fluorescence, absorption and scattering of light. They are non-electrical in nature and the measurements are based on the changes in the refractive index. Electrochemical biosensors are electrical in nature, where the sensing molecule or the recognition element will interact with the sample analyte. The electrical signal produced is often proportional to the concentration of the analyte. Mass-based biosensors are electrical biosensors where the electrical signals produced are proportional to the mechanical or acoustic, that means sound, 
vibrations of the sensing molecules. Commonly used biosensors. The most commonly used biosensors are undoubtedly glucose biosensors or glucometers, which are blood or saliva based, along with pregnancy strip tests, which are urine based. The first commercially produced glucose biosensor was made by Yellow Springs Instrument in 1975. Since then, the design and performance of glucose biosensors have undergone drastic advancements. Pregnancy Strip The other most commonly used biosensors are pregnancy test strips, which are antibody-based and determine the presence of HCG, which called human chorionic gonadotropin, from the blood or urine. The recognition elements are the anti-HCG antibodies, which will agglutinate with the HCG of the blood or urine, if present, and form an agglutination line. The presence of a line indicates a positive test while the lack of the line is a negative test for pregnancy.